Right, guys, let's talk about my favorite part of knife collecting. Now, it's no surprise, or it shouldn't at least be any surprise, that I do like collecting knives. I also do like using knives, and some people get it misconstrued that I don't use them. But that is a totally different video for a totally different time. Today, I wanted to specifically focus on my favorite aspect of knife collecting, and I think a lot of people's favorite aspect, and like why it keeps it drawing you back in. And it can be dangerous at times. You do have to watch your bank account and your funds, make sure that you don't, you know, spend money recklessly. But at the same time, too, I think one of my favorite parts about knife collecting is setting grails, getting those grails, and essentially the chase, the pursuit, and ultimately the luck of getting knives, especially like everyone's idea or construct of what makes a grail knife a grail knife is a little bit different. And a grail knife doesn't have to be expensive. Something like the Strider, Protex Strider SNG might be considered a grail knife. It was one that I was definitely in pursuit of for a long time. And it's honestly, I got this guy for like 160 bucks, right? So it's not necessarily a super expensive knife, but it was very hard to find and it took me uh, a nearly a year, I think, of like genuinely searching for one to actually find one. So, you know, part of it is like what makes it fun for me isn't necessarily like spending tons and tons of money on any given, you know, knife, uh, but really like that pursuit or chase, like having the idea of like, man, this is what I really want, and then going for that blade uh, exclusively or trying to hunt for it very hard as I'm trying to align these blades here. But uh, ultimately that is probably like one of my favorite things. And along that way of like, just finding what you want as an expression of like yourself in these knives. Cause I think, you know, like ultimately whether it's how you dress, how you proceed to look, what you proceed to, you know, show to the public is an expression of yourself. And so for me, that's why like a lot of my knives uh, are different. Like I think that's what kind of makes watching different knife tubers unique because I have a very different taste in knives and my knife collection as opposed to other knife tubers out there. And so it helps, you know, kind of like show or express who you are. And granted, um, you know, there are things like culture that play a role into it. Things like this bounty hunter, uh, heretic manicore, obviously is very um, Mandalorian slash Star Wars themed. Um, but then you also have things like, um, we also have things like this custom Gavco nurse that have some degree of things like Halo, the video game, as an inspiration to them. They definitely have that kind of almost fantasy look with all the purple and blue to it. And, uh, you know, so you have those kinds of... Uh, you have those kinds of themes running and then you just have straight up, you know, like tactical, practical, hard use typed blades as well. Things like this Protect Strider SNG. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of influence and I think that, you know, it's similar to like owning vehicles, right? Um, if you are really into owning vehicles, there are some people that just own them for the pure objective use. But there are also people that own and collect cars or trucks or other vehicles as a form of self-expression. And so for me, that is largely with knives and uh, yeah, it's really fun to sit there, outline like what are the knives that you want or what brands, what steels, what types of things do you want or characteristics and uh, then chasing or hunting those things down. And I think like ultimately a part of it comes back to luck. Like with all three of these blades, these there, there is a reason why I have these three specifically here. They were all definitely lucky pickups because I was very fortunate to track down this Protex Strider Auto SNG. I was very, very lucky to come across this custom Gavco. I mean, Gavcos are insanely hard to find. Like, the fact that I found one on secondary, especially for a reasonable price, is ridiculous. And that's part of why I had to add it to the collection, is you just don't see that, like, ever. But then on top of that, you know, there are things like the Heretic, Heretic Mounting, Heretic 
manticore bounty hunter and once again it's a very reasonably rare blade it, it is one that you can go and pick up and find but not super cheap not super easy to come by either but still super uh, gorgeous and an overall really awesome blade so there is a element i would say to luck with all of these knives and with many different ones i've picked up now things like this ho deca not so much it's a pretty generic knife you can get just about anywhere but you know these other ones kind of summarize more of that uh, kind of viewpoint of these are knives that you have to hunt and pursue and that makes them i think really special it helps them you know kind of have a story and i've done videos in the past talking about you know like certain knives for me have a story right like they have a kind of meaning to me and once again things like the auto sng definitely have a story where i was hunting for it so hard i had originally got one and that uh that purchase fell through and then I had to go back on the hunt for them. And so like, as a part of that story, you know, like um, it, it makes these knives unique, it makes them special and it really honestly makes them worth collecting. So, you know, once again, this is something that if you don't see the value in it, you don't see the value and that's totally cool too. You know, not everyone is into sharp objects, but for those that are, these are some really cool blades and once again, this summarizes, like, in my opinion, the best part of collecting knives. It's always, like, it comes back to the chase, the pursuit, the luck, you know, finding, like, amazing knives or models and really just hunting certain types, like I said, models of knives down to add them to collections. And that's what really, I think, makes it a lot of fun to me. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the eye candy here. Uh, pulled out some of my favorite blades for this. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, God bless and I'm out.